Hey Marvelites, I'm Lorraine Sink, host and writer of Marvel's The Watcher, and we are joined by the illustrious Joss Whedon. Thank you so much for joining us on Marvel.com. Thank you for having me. It's good to be illustrious. So you're in the editing room now. You're all done shooting. Do you miss the cast? I actually, I, a little bit do. I mean, I don't miss them as much as they clearly miss me and are probably crying because I'm in the editing room, so I'm with them all the time. I get to see all the stuff they did, and so it's a little bit like we're still together. But no, they're, uh, they're all there. They're great. Now I just got to jumble them around, so it seems to make sense. Perfect. I love movies that make sense. That's by editing, by the way. It's, oh, editing. That's my course in editing. <laughs> and then you're done. So Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron is kind of a huge deal because it's the 11th Marvel Cinematic Universe film. It's all connected. There's now the show Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. There's also a new Netflix series coming. There's a lot of continuity and the universe is all huge and connected. What is it like to work on something of that scope? Uh, the advantage is uh, there is so much stuff dialed in that the page is not so blank. You have a lot that's figured out. But then there's a whole ton that you have to either figure out or service or, yeah, but in the next film we're gonna do this, so you have to do that. Sometimes it's, it's helpful and sometimes it's restrictive. Now, is this something where you drew from a certain uh, storyline and a comic book arc, or is this something that you're really trying to just go and do your own thing? Um, you know, you draw, obviously, from mm -hmm. the whole sort of history of how I've experienced the Avengers, which I've done since I was 11. But uh, this isn't taken from an arc. This isn't, you know, pulled from oh, that font time when there are certain images and ideas that we all looked at and said, well, we know this represents how we feel about what Ultron means and what's cool about him that we definitely cribbed off of. But uh, the story is essentially mine. 